Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be covering my favorite Dark Runner combos. Before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you like my content. So when playing Dark Runner, the name of the game is Ground and Pound. What we're doing is we're getting a trip combo off so we can pound them while they're on the ground. So there are multiple trip combos that Dark Runners have. We're gonna go over those trip combos and how I incorporate other moves to do big damage. I also want to throw a shout out to my guild leader Jux for showing me my first few combos as a dark runner and getting me started on my dark running path. So the trip combos that I use are thwart then whirlwind slash, charge to triple slash to whirlwind slash, behind enemy lines to whirlwind slash, hammer toss to shadow smite, and then hammer toss to charge. Both triple slash and whirlwind slash have three distinct attacks that you can use. When using them to trip, you actually only want to use the first triple slash and the first whirlwind slash, and I'll show you that in a demonstration. One of my favorite combos is charge, triple, whirlwind, followed by Sunder earth, whirlwind, whirlwind. This combo is easy to use, you get at a pretty low level, and it does big damage. If you're wondering why my voice sounds different, it's because I've become super sick over the past couple of days, so there's that. I want to add a side note about using the two whirlwind slashes after Sunder Earth. To actually be able to pull this off and get those two whirlwind slashes off, you're going to have to be spamming the whirlwind slash button while you're in the Sunder Earth animation. What this will do is cancel the animation a little early and allow you to get those last two whirlwinds off which will do some extra damage for combos and might as well be used before the cooldown goes up. Another variation of this combo is to Tiger Strike in. Thwart, Whirlwind, Sunder Earth, Whirlwind, Whirlwind, followed by Pin Down and Precision Strike for a big damage finisher. The reason I like this combo or this variation is because the animation seems to be a little bit faster using Thwart instead of Triple Strike. So if I'm going up against something that will CC me and could break up my combos, I find this one to be a little more reliable in those instances. Yet yeah, another variation of this combo is to change the intro by starting off with Behind Enemy Lines followed by Whirlwind, Sun to Earth, Whirlwind, Whirlwind. The essence of the combo is to trip them using that first Whirlwind Slash after slowing them using that combo. And while they're tripped, getting the bonus damage to your Sun to Earth and the final two Whirlwind Strikes, which end up canceling the animation of the Sun to Earth as well, speeding up your overall damage process. Another combo that I like to rotate in with uh, charge, thwart, and the charge triple combos is to use a hammer toss followed by shadow smite for the trip followed by pin down and then precision strike to get that bonus damage on the precision strike from the bleed that pin down combos. What I'll do is I'll alternate this combo in with my other my first two combos because they are on different cooldowns so when typically grinding easier monsters you're able to rotate the cooldown so you're not waiting for your cooldowns in between each monster. To put it all together I'll start off with a charge, thwart, whirlwind, sunder earth, whirlwind, whirlwind, followed by hammer toss, shadow smite, pin down, and then precision strike to finish them off. This combo is a lot longer and overall will do more damage because of that but especially when you're trying to use it in PvP combos won't always go your way as other players are going to break your crowd control, crowd control you back, they can sidestep your hammer toss to dodge it, so you'll just have to learn to adjust depending on how the fight's going and that will come with experience and playing the Dark Runner. I'll leave you with some final thoughts. When you miss a crucial move in one of your combos, don't be afraid to back out using either a drop pack or a teleport, use free runner to create some distance, that way you can reset your cooldowns because as a Dark Runner, we're a glass cannon typically. So if we miss a, a crucial trip, we're going to allow other players to blow us up. And, you know, you don't want that. As far as Precision Strike, I try to always combo it behind Pin Down so it gets the bonus damage from the bleed. If you don't have Pin Down because you're not high enough level yet, I would always rotate it in behind my last two Whirlwinds after my Sunder Earth. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed my video, enjoy my content, please drop a like. Hit that subscribe button. I'll continue to try to make videos every week. Sorry, this one came out so late. Unfortunately, I got super sick and have been trying to just keep myself alive. Well, until next time, see you guys.